Hey, what's up everyone? Just wanted to drop another video update so that way everyone can check out the reef and see how it's going. It's been a few weeks. Uh, I had a few weeks off for vacation for work and whatnot. So it's just been relaxing and chilling. Um, but now that I have the time to stop and edit some videos and do some voiceovers, just wanted to bring out another video, show off some of the corals, um, explain, go into the Aquaforce program that I'm using and all the products and the probiotic method. You know, really the Aquaforce probiotic method is just a combination of products that I'm using to create an environment where there are certain strains of bacteria that are growing that are able to combat nitrates and phosphates. Um, they're able to feed the corals. I have here, you're looking at the carbon and zeolite mix. I'm just doing some general maintenance on the tank and I thought it was a great time to be able to show everything. Um, I usually do this twice a year, uh, cleaning out all these tubes, getting everything out of there. You know, once I kind of clog it, those restrict flow quite a bit um, inside of the reactor. <clears throat> so you may think you need a bigger pump, but maybe you just need to clean your tubes. If they're not clear, you know, you can't really see what's inside of them. Um, I usually, I ran this through hot water with vinegar for quite a while. I ran all my equipment in at one time with the gyre on. Uh, my skimmer inside of there, the uh, meteor reactor, another pump, the other return, and just let it go. So inside of this reactor, I actually run the zeolites and uh, carbon stacked on top. Some people do add the Aquaforce GFO. Um, I don't really have algae issues or phosphate issues, so I don't run the GFO. I don't feel like I need it. Um, but with the combination of the carbon, which is keeping the water clean, and I do run the carbon 24-7 for about a month straight before I change it out. And the zeolites, which I am also adding ProBioS Pro drops inside of it. So I uh, keep that strain going, give them a safe place to live. Um, it all works out and, and it creates an algae free environment. I mean, I have a very small tank. I feed a lot of food to my tank and um, I don't really have any issues. Uh, I have great coloration. I don't. And another good thing, like I said before, is a lot of this stuff was purchased on a budget. Uh, this Mr. Aquatop Meteor Reactor, I think it cost me 40 bucks um, in comparison to some of the more expensive brands. And it works perfectly. I did change out the <coughs> the pump on it to the Maxi Jet 1200. And I just let everything basically pump for a while, man. And eventually, it all comes out. Um, I was able to get this tube that you're seeing here completely clear of all algae, of all film, um, and it looks brand new. So here going into the products that I'm actually using from Aquaforce, uh, this is an Aquaforce Amino Mix. I'm doing one drop of this into my tank every other day at night. Um, it's hard to be consistent since it's not on the doser, but it does work very well. And uh, you can tell the difference in the coloration of the coral. I was using Two Little Fishies Acro Power beforehand. And then right here you're checking out another product that I'm using, uh, the Coral Bean. Uh, it is out of date, it is a little bit different now, it's called Coral Build. Uh, you can tell by the purple dropper versus the white uh, for the newer older Aquaforce products. But it does work very well, it helps the corals absorb the calcium and the alkalinity and grow a little bit faster. It's a great product. This is another product that I'm using, the Aquaforce Energy. This is more of a coral food um, <clears throat> that I'm dosing to the tank. I'm dropping it in once every other day it lights out. I would compare this to maybe Polyp Labs Polyp Booster. It works pretty well and I like it and I feed it. This is MP Pro from uh, Aquaforce. I'm also dosing this daily uh, in the morning times. This is to keep my nitrates and phosphates low. Um, I do this in conjunction with the zeolites and my ProBioS that you're going to see coming up next. I also have the carbon inside of the reactor. And this is just to be able to provide as close as possible to an ultra low nutrient system I can in a nano tank. Uh, it works very well. I haven't had any algae blooms or real big growth. So I'm very happy I'm using these products. 
And here I'm just showing you all the products that I'm actually using from Aquaforest. All of the supplements, the components one, two, three, the probiotic resalt. Uh, for me, the probiotic method has really worked out. I haven't had any coral losses in months. I haven't had any algae blooms. I haven't had any issues. I haven't had anything really go wrong just by simply following the balling method using these these products. Um, it, it, it works. The probiotic method is something that's easy, being that you're able to use the volume method with components one, two, and three. It's adding all of your trace elements. It's it's cleaning the water with the carbon. It's using the zeolites to keep your phosphates and your nitrates low. So I'm very happy to have it. You know, for me, I just suit this type of reefing. Um, being able to know exactly what's going in the tank, how it's working, being able to change everything out less frequently. Um, I do have a job, I do have a wife and kids. And and I really don't have the time, so to speak, um, to do everything as much as I would like, even dropping the one that drops every other day, it's a little bit of a burden, um, but it does work, and um, it, it provides a, a very stable environment for these animals, and I'm able to keep a wider array, array of animals in a very small setup, and I'm able to do it successfully, as you can see in the videos. Um, so if anyone ever has any questions on any of the Aquaforce products, let me know. Um, it has been a while since I did a video and adding everything into it, so if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Uh, after this week, I'll start getting back into dropping a video every week, so thanks for your support and checking out the channel. Appreciate it.